Well, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes, we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Casper or CSPR, um, which uh, basically why I'm doing this analysis is because it has been lagging behind quite a bit. While I do think the project is great, I do think there's a great community behind it. So I actually think we might have a couple of really bullish days for Casper ahead of us. Bullish days, uh, day, days, days, weeks, um, one of those, but I, I mean, it's relatively bullish, of course, relatively to where we are right now. Um, but yeah, I do expect that. So first of all, I um, let's uh, let's get right into it. I mean, if you look at Casper, the volume could definitely be better. But once that whole move is happening, the volume will definitely pick up to something like 10% of the market cap. So what I think is likely to happen is actually to either... I mean, we might need to, be, uh, because we broke this trend line and we also broke this very important uh, a key level to the to, to the downside, what might need to happen is we need to go down to like eight and a half cents before we get up to 9.4 cents. But that's my, uh, th that's my initial thing that needs to happen, get up to that 9.4. I think it is more likely that we do it from here. So just from where we are right now, go up to that 9.4 uh, immediately, but... As I said, we might need to drop down to eight and a half cents. From there, we'll probably find some resistance, drop down to um, nine cents again. But eventually, I do think from that nine cents that that is enough support and we might need to consolidate a little bit. But I think that's enough support to actually get us towards this big key level, the, the major key level, which is around 10 cents. Uh, first of all, that's a big psychological resistance level. This FIB, this blue line, uh, line, that's the 236 of the of, of the most important FIB on the whole chart of Casper. So that's going to be quite strong resistance right there. And I am going to delete that uh, 7786 uh, FIB, that's not important. But I do expect us to find resistance from there, maybe once, maybe twice. Um, but yeah, so that's basically my analysis for, for the upcoming days. Um, what I think is going to happen soon as well, but I'm not sure how to put it into the broader picture of Casper though, uh, is breaking that 10 cents. Because breaking that 10 cents is the main technical cataclyst, of course, we're looking for. So what would happen then? Then we would probably break all the way to uh, 11 cents or 10.7 cents, then take a break retest off of 10 cents. And my next price target, actually for Casper, um, which, I mean, we're not going to hit that immediately but that would be my next price target from which i think we could really endure some some resistance that would be 12 and a half cents um but yeah as i said main thing we need to do as of right now is breaking that 10 cents uh, that's the main thing to look out for i'm not quite sure how that's going to fit into the picture or or fit into the analysis but as i said i think this is most likely for the upcoming uh, days and i'll probably update it as well if that happens uh, see what's most likely to happen and when we can expect that uh, breakout so yeah that's basically my analysis on casper uh, if you do have any questions about the analysis then please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible but as for now thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you all in my next videos bye